When the announcement about Sora, the AI video generator, made the scene, I really didn't do too much about it here on this channel because I already knew it wasn't accessible anytime soon to anyone. And yeah, I could have dangled the carrot like everybody else did, but that's just frustrating to me. My channel is really about creative AI and tools you can use right now. That's not to say I won't preview some things, but I just knew that until we could get our hands on that, it was just going to be a lot of frustration and wondering. But now we actually have a free alternative to Sora, which is in some ways, and depending on who you talk to, better. I'm talking about Dream Machine. And this is something that you can play with right now, starting today. And the only thing you need is some patience because right now it's taking a very long time for your videos to generate because the system is getting absolutely slammed. But you can see right now, as I just scroll through the page here, what we're looking at in terms of quality. All of these are going to either be text to video, meaning a text prompt created the whole thing, or it took an existing image and added animation to it. But if you've used some of the other AI video generation tools, you'll know that we see some of the same problems in a lot of them. Coherency starts to go away after a few seconds. We get some weird tearing and a lot of morphing that they're calling animation. But here you're seeing movement that's truly much more of what we would expect and see with a real camera in a real situation. What they're telling us is that these generations, which last about five seconds, which is one second more than most of these others, takes about 120 seconds. And I'm sure that once things calm down and the system isn't getting slammed, that may be true. But right now, when you submit a job, you're waiting sometimes hours before your 120 seconds even start. So if you're gonna play with this right away, just be prepared to wait and wait. The good news is the results are worth it. Just scrolling through the samples here, and then I'll show you what I've been able to do in the couple of days that I've been able to play with it. All really amazing. Now, it does address its current limitations right here, even though it's much better at not morphing than most of the other AI video generators. It still does sometimes have some morphing, and you'll see examples of that in what I did as well. Movement. You'll notice that this dog is gliding over the street, and I have an example of that in my examples as well. Still has a problem with text that should probably probably say Luma and it added an extra M, but that's still pretty impressive. And then Janus, which I have no idea what that is, but I do see that the bear has got some strange anatomy. So whatever Janus means, I should probably look it up. All right, let's get into it. Now I cannot generate any more today because apparently I've used up my limit, which is interesting because if I go to my account under free, it says 30 generations per month. And it says I have 16 out of 30 generations remaining for the month. But one of the things I was trying to do for this particular demonstration was to go to some of the prompts that were used in the original Sora demonstration. A lot of people are doing this. This ain't my first idea. And then copy and paste. And I do have a couple of examples of that to show you. But when I was trying to do another one like this one here, which is a classic Sora demo. When I went to create it, it says maximum usage limit exceeded. Let me try the enhanced prompt, turn that off, because maybe that's what they're talking about. Nope, it says maximum usage limit exceeded, even though it says I have 16 out of 30 generations remaining for the month, but maybe they have some daily cap. I really don't know. It's not really clear, but I was still able to create some that I thought were pretty impressive. Let me start from the bottom up. This first one was strictly a text prompt. No image was used as a starting point, and it was a pig wearing a baseball cap walks down a gravel road with grass on both sides at sunset. It nailed it, but for some reason, the pig is walking backwards. And in this case, you'll see that the pig's legs are moving as expected. They're not gliding along. And the consistency and the coherency with the background is stunning. Really amazing, next level stuff. Here's another example of it. This time we see the back end. Doesn't really look like a pig. That seems like too much of a soft tail. But again, we do see that the walking is how it's supposed to be. And the field and the sunset and everything looks amazing. Now this one here, the llama licking a boy's face. That's the still image of my grandson visiting, I think that's actually an alpaca or something. I don't think it's a llama. But the prompt I used was llama licking a boy's face. Now this is a photo to video example. And it gets a little weird. And you can see some serious morphing there at the end. All kinds of weird stuff happens there. His head becomes the animal. I'll show you the other one. Okay. So it looks just more like they're sort of uh, kissing each other or whatever, or that he took something from his mouth. So a little bit better on the coherency. Still better results than most of the image to video solutions that I've tried so far. Again, with the lips here, you see the original image that the animation is based on. And these were okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I guess interesting but we don't need to look at those because I wasn't thrilled with the results. The man with a gigantic insect are images I think I created in Mid Journey originally, 
and the prompt was man feeding a giant insect. And I love that. It zoomed in. I didn't tell it to zoom in. On the front page, it says that it responds to camera direction. I had, didn't really do any camera direction in any of this. I just let it do its thing. But I love the way this looks. It actually looks like it's kind of a handheld camera and the bug and everything maintain good consistency. And this could probably benefit from a nice video upscale. Here's another example. Pretty much the same, except it doesn't zoom in as much and just different movement. But Still, pretty realistic movement for the most part. Now we got this antenna straying all over his head, but who knows, maybe that's just the way of this breed. This was the text prompt. A withered old man crouches in a dark city alley in a rainstorm, clinging tightly to his old battered ukulele, his faded cowboy hat, is saturated with water, drop flow off the brain, that should have said drops, flow off the brim, not brain, and splash into the ground. He is, boy, okay, I just had a mental collapse as I was typing this. His surrounding, he is surrounded by garbage cans overflowing with cans, paper, and food. I think it nailed everything. It got all of the prompts. The only thing that it may not be doing is the water just dripping off the hat. Well, no, it is. It actually, right when I said that, I got to see it a little bit. But he's holding the ukulele. We got all the details, rain, the hat, surrounded by garbage cans. See, overflowing with cans and paper and food. I love it. It's really, really good. Here's another text to video. No image was used as a starting point. Two kids playing in the park look up in the sky with wonder as teddy bears rain down from the sky. So we can only assume that all these things back here are teddy bears. And I was really kind of hoping for, and I should have said, aerial view of two kids playing in the park. So they'd be like looking up at the camera, but I didn't specify that. They're not really playing as much as they're sitting, but it's still a beautiful video. And if it didn't take so long to re-roll them, I would just re-roll them. This was just a text to video prompt. No image started this out. Linda and Mark are playing cards, drinking wine, and enjoying candlelight when they suddenly realize they are in love with each other. So I don't know if we really catch that moment too much, but maybe that was it right there. Let me make this a little bit bigger. If we could upscale this and broaden in some of the details, this would be really nice. If you've played with any of these other AI video generators, you know that this is really next level. And it's really cool that we have access to tools like this. A Las Vegas magician. Again, this is just text to video. A Las Vegas magician on the Las Vegas trip pulling giant sprinkled donuts out of a hat to the amazement of happy onlookers, fireworks in the sky. Boy, the crowd and the clapping and the fireworks and just the absurdness of this place I live, the giant donut. I mean, it's clearly AI. It's still doing some weird morphy things, but at a quality way beyond what we're used to. It is pretty surreal though. I think what wings come out of that thing. Yep. <laughs> This was an image that I created, I think, in Fucus. A giant tarantula has invaded Times Square. People are panicked and running around as police cars navigate the crowd. Spider webs cover the building. So I don't really see spider webs covering the building, but this is an example of the object in question just sort of gliding along. And, you know, obviously I wanted this business going on, but it's kind of happening a little, but not that much. We, we suddenly change perspectives and things get uh, odd sizes. We have this giant police car just missed that guy. Let's look at that again. That's like those videos that you see where it's like, hey, close calls. Look at that. Just grazed his stomach. Amazing. Interesting, but not as coherent as I would have liked. This is a good one. Just a text prompt. Tough guy in a tattered leather coat in a futuristic dystopian city, standing on a street corner, lighting a cigarette for a woman, Blade Runner style, flying vehicles and rain. So it's like he lit it for the benefit of the woman to see him, but he didn't light it for her. Did she have one in her hand right at the beginning? kind of turned around. Anyway, just a lot going on there. The movement of the traffic in the background, the lights in the buildings all stay super consistent. There's no flickering or odd changing. Everything is good. We do have morphing here with the cigarette action, but just give this just a little bit more time. The other thing is they're walking at a normal pace. All these other services, all of the human motion is slow motion like this. I'm eating pizza. I'm walking now. And this is what makes this seem so much more realistic. It's not this slow motion fantasy world. It's like we're looking at a video clip ish. Now, this was a direct prompt from this page here. It is this prompt, the drone view of waves from the Sora example. And this is what we get. I mean, flawless up here. Everything looks amazing. Let's look at it again. I need this part to loop. The waves stay how they're supposed to be. You wouldn't know. This is another Sora prompt I'm about to use, the animated scene featuring a close-up. Blah, blah, blah. And this is what Sora created. And this is what Luma created. We've got talking and everything. I didn't even have to tell it to. Got some kind of movement back here in the background. I just want to see more. 
It's really a discernible difference between four and five seconds, don't you think? Feels way more generous. Not to mention the quality is amazing. Here's the last one. Again, this started as a Sora prompt, and this was the several giant woolly mammoths approaching, treading through a snowy meadow. Very impressive. Very impressive demo from Sora. And the fidelity on this is really good. I don't know if this has been upscaled or what the deal is, but that looks amazing. That's why people are excited about Sora. And here is our version. The exact same prompt. We only saw his butt for a second. We are seeing more the landscape than the woolly mammoth, so that's not so great. But again, I'm sure if I just ran it again, it would be fine. But I'm out of credits and I can't do that anymore. Here's another one. A scaly humanoid monster swimming deep under the sea with numerous brightly colored fish. So I don't know how humanoid it is. It has arms and legs. It could be the same one from different angles. Hard to tell, but we definitely have a lot of the fish, and the fish seem pretty coherent as well. We have another example. This one seems more humanoid, right? Standing upright, we got eyes and a nose and a mouth and arms, and I don't have to tell you what humanoid is, do I? You probably don't need much more from me to get excited about this. Either you're excited about it or you're not gonna be, because this is as good as it gets in terms of it getting into our hands. And again, if you're willing to wait sometimes hours to see your results, then I would say to get in here and just start being creative with prompts. Really tell a story. Look back at these Sora prompts here and see that they're several sentences long and they're not afraid to add a lot of detail. So don't you be afraid too because it really does create a richer video experience on the other side of it. Find some of your more interesting images that you think would be interesting if there was some movement and throw them in there. And again, get creative with the prompts and see what you can do. Again, just recapping the price here, you got 120 generations per month for $30, 400 for 100 and 2000 for 500. I don't know who you are that's doing that right now with the quality as it is, but when the quality gets to truly undiscernible from regular video, would something like $500 for 2,000 five second generations be worth it to you if the video you were creating was completely undetectable as AI? I'm really curious on your thoughts on that. And if you're still here to give your thoughts, please share what you're thinking in the comments below. If this is the kind of stuff you like to see and learn about, well, me too. So why don't you subscribe to the channel so we can talk about this more often because this is the stuff we do all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will...